Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Taylor and I'm a third grade teacher in Central California. Today's video, we're doing like a classroom makeover. I know I didn't do a classroom setup this year, but here's what we're gonna do. This library, I'm sick of it, so we're gonna fix it. And then I'm going to add goals up there. So I'm gonna have AR goals and fluency goals. I might add a high frequency word cactus goal there. And then we do eye ready, so I'm gonna make this our eye ready goal board. So if that sounds fun to you, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's get started. Okay, so these I just made on a website called PicMonkey. It's what I use to make all my thumbnails and most like tech stuff around the room is get to pick fonts, outlines, whatnot. I also made these AR points, things there. And then I did get these cactus little guys from Teachers Pay Teachers, like a little clip art thing that I can add. Um, I don't, I have a TBT, I've never used it, but if you want me to add some of these there, I can, but I think without the cactuses, I don't think you can do that, but Anyway, oh, and normally I would laminate these before I put them up, but our laminator's broke. And I just wanna get this up there so kids can actually have a visual and push them to reach their error goals because it's a struggle right now. Okay, let's get stuff up. So the big stuff is up on the walls. For AR, I decided to do increments of five because for the first trimester, they need to have 10 points, second trimester, 20 points, third trimester, 30 points. But I feel like it's really important to acknowledge those steps in between. And I did add a three because I'm finding that my kids are really struggling with AR. So I feel like three is actually the first exciting goal that they reach. And then it's like, all right, let's get this ball rolling. So I put a three, that way everyone can also kind of get up on the board. And then we're gonna see each other move and it's gonna be like a fun little competition. Um, also, for those of you, cause I felt like this, for a little while. You can put names on the clothespins or just numbers because they know their number. Um, the, these clips that I got are actually pretty small, um, but I'm too lazy to go out and get new ones. Actually, my teacher friend gave me these and I'm too lazy to go buy new ones. So I'm gonna use them and they're small. So that way I feel like it's not as like competitive for those who are shy, like it's really small. These ones though, these are bigger and I decided to just put their number on them. If I want to write down their name, I'll write their name underneath, but kind of for you guys. <laughs> They're just numbers. So these are gonna go up here for fluency, like shelves. Now, fluency is really difficult where I'm at. Like to get a C, they have to be reading what astronomical number is this. Okay, and again, it's astronomical for my dynamic. To get a C, they have to be reading 71 to 98 words per minute for the first trimester. A D is 44 to 70, and F is anything below 43 second trimester it goes up so don't even get me started on that but I'm basically going to do this bottom level will be kind of the F1 D C they won't know that though they'll just know the numbers so 0 to 43 you're on this if they're above that it's 44 to 70 and then 71 to 98 and this works because I don't have anyone reading faster than a 98 so this works and then next trimester I might kind of rearrange, bump it if I need to, because that'll be the next goal for the satisfactory. We'll be there. We'll see, I don't wanna to totally discourage my kiddos. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these up so we can see what the board actually looks like. That I'll put up later because they have to individually tell me their points and that's a whole thing. Okay, goes wall is done. I'm realizing how big those cactus things are. And I actually have little cactuses that aren't enclosed in the little snow globe thing that I might put up instead. For now, those are good, but next trimester I might switch to like the individual cactuses. Let me see, do I have those? Okay, I went crazy and got just like a bunch of different things because I didn't know what I wanted to use. I got birds, probably not gonna use those. 
plain flowers. I think I'm going to use these. These are probably better. They're smaller and they'll actually fit on the shelf. I feel like a little better. Okay, moving on. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, what's up? Day two of this classroom makeover. Today we are doing library. So let's go ahead, knock this out today. I'm going to basically be removing the baskets. I'm sick of them and they're not even in the correct order anymore. Anyway, uh, I'm going to try to do like a level one, level two, level three, chapter book kind of thing. That's what I'm thinking so far. We'll see how it ends up. <laughs> Okay, library is pretty much done. It looks so much better. I do have, uh, those are more like storage. A couple baskets I need to go through, but otherwise we have, let me show you. This is my first grade level, pretty weak. Second grade, I have second grade normal books, picture books, a little bit of chapter books, and then chapter books there. I should just be moving those there. Here's my third grade, third grade picture books, chapter books, chapter books, but like, Books for those that I have like lots of, so they're in their own like little category. And then here's my like fourth grade. Those ones I need to check to find the level. Okay, but one thing I did learn in my meetings today is that majority of my kids, I have about 16 kids that are reading, performing at a kinder slash first grade level. I have three kids that are early third grade where they're supposed to be and I have one second grader. So uh, this is my first grade and second grade. I need to step that up. So I'm probably gonna be doing a uh, donor's choose so I can get some more first grade, kinder first, second grade books. My third grade books, good to go. Okay, now teaching them how to use this library, how to keep it at least semi-organized. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be rid of those baskets. Oh, yes, a library that I do not despise. Okay, classroom makeover is going pretty good. Day two, check. See you tomorrow. Okay, the time has come. We're adding the second part of this math wall. This is addition and subtraction. I'm going to chop this one in half with a border and add the multiplication and division. Let's go. Okay, math all is done. Finally got addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Now we are going to add our class data on the other part of this wall that I chopped. And then we are not done. I need to add on this, that wall. We're gonna do our multiplication Sundays. I don't think I have enough room to do them here. And even if I did, it's something that I need to be able to take down and put back up a lot since the kids are going to be adding to them. So I don't think that would be a smart choice, but it would flow with the math. I know. So we're gonna make a whole wall over there and then add my iReady class data there, which I, again, I am not the most excited. So this might stay up just for one round because I printed this out and was supposed to laminate it and we ran out of our laminating things for our big stuff. So I taped it together. Not the greatest, but it'll work for one round and then either the laminator will be up and running so I can get a nice clean one or I will abandon that and do something else. Okay. Also, yes, the wrinkles drive me crazy, but that's what settled paper does. So I'm gonna try to like smooth it out as I staple this thing up. 
How cute is this? I got this on Teachers Pay Teachers. I got all of this on Teachers Pay Teachers, so I will link it down below. I love this. It has a bunch of different like print styles. So this is of course like the boho classroom. So there's that. I'm gonna try and put that at the top, but there needs to be one for this girl. I am so indecisive. I could never be, like this is why I'm not good at designing literally anything because I'm not consistent with what style I like. So I got the wood and that's neon, blue and neon. Granted those were from like prior classrooms where I had black on the wall so the neon popped. Then I'm trying to switch to more of a boho theme but here I have neon still and then boho and then here I was going to put purple for our ice cream and my friend across the doorway is like why would you put purple you have blue on all your other walls and I was like oh yeah I guess that makes sense but I like purple I already think this looks weird that it goes from neon to how chill that is it's because my heart loves neon but I like to pretend like I'm calm and like these neutral colors so I will put blue on those walls because really Blue should go there, or wood. I don't think I have enough wood though, so I'll put blue. We'll see, I think I need to sleep on it and like, or maybe go ask my neighbor what she thinks. <laughs> I need help. I got the paper. Today's the day we're getting this wall up. Um, it is already four o'clock and I should head home, but I also really wanna get this up and get it done with. So let's go. Also, side note, I'm just doing this wall. I'm not doing that one yet because I don't feel like it. That'll be another one. <laughs> Okay, my main reason for not doing this wall is actually all because of this little, that plug-in that I'm gonna have to cut around and I don't wanna cut around it right now. So I'm sticking with just this one wall because that's my ice cream wall and then this one's gonna be probably something else anyway. So we're just gonna do that a different day, okay? Okay, continue. Double-sided tape. <sighs> Just gonna throw it up there. I don't even care if that's not perfect.
Okay, balls up. And then these are what the ice cream sundaes are going to end up looking like. They're going to have their bowls and then um, get the ice creams and all the good stuff. And then whatever they earn on here is what they will get at the end of the year. Let me see if I can show you a couple of my kiddos. The bowl is zero and ones. Um, and then this one, the zeros and ones, and then the two is for the spoon. But yeah, and I'm letting them color them whatever color they want, and we'll just be able to, so those plaques are gonna stay up on the board, but then I'm going to be putting up and taking down their ice cream sundaes so they can go and add more to them. And then I just have these little baggies. I'm gonna put them down at the bottom, that way they know what to grab when they're ready to. I'll tell them when they've reached their twos, and they've reached their three, four, fives, and then so on. So those will be just kind of, right along the bottom there one stop shop ready to go <laughs> Alrighty, so that concludes this uh classroom makeover thank you guys for joining me if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye guys